Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Paul Reed. I'm a professional photographer. My main love is monochrome photography. And if you kind of browse through the videos on this channel, then you'll see a whole lot of that. Today's no different in the fact that I've been taking photographs in Blackpool with the Q2 monochrome. Now, a couple of my friends had asked me to go there and it wasn't for photography purposes. They just wanted to, you know, have a quick catch up. Well, it wasn't a quick catch up. It was a full day in Blackpool in amusement arcades, which is what this is all about behind me. I'm a big lover of arcade games and retro gaming. So, um, so I was there in Blackpool and, you know, it's not my main objective whenever I go places with friends to take photographs, but I always bring my everyday camera there to wherever I go and I brought the Q2 monochrome with me this time. I had been shooting on the on the Leica M6. I've been shooting film a lot recently as you'll have seen and I will go back to film and back to the Q2 monochrome and I'm going to be going between those two cameras between film and you know and the monochrome sensor camera because I do feel that I'm getting the best out of those two you know those two things by the way if you're shooting film you don't need a Leica M6 to shoot film look I've got a Voigtlander lens on there and really it's all about the glass when it comes to film and whatever film that you use the reason why I use a Leica M6 is just because I like using the Leica M6 you know there's no no other reason than that it's just you know such a pleasure to use as is the Q2 monochrome but yeah, so here's, here's some images from, from Blackpool because I'm just so pleased that I brought the Q2 monochrome with me because all of these opportunities come up and you just you really need to bring your carry everyday camera with you whenever you go places because there will be opportunities there just to capture moments, to capture images, even you know images of your friends that you're going with. So let's go through those now. This is one of my longtime friends, Mike. He loves his hats. I just love taking pictures of friends when I'm away. And this is Stee. I love this portrait of Stee. He'll hate it. Then we went off to the amusement arcades because there's loads of them there. And then went for a few drinks. But that Q2 monochrome was staring at me, so I went off on my own for a bit. This lady was a real character. She actually asked me if I would take her portrait, and of course I was pleased to do that. I think I went on tower overload right now. This was a lovely couple. And I love the way the sun is just glinting off the top of the tower there. This guy was another character I really, I really wanted to take his portrait. And then we went up the tower. I think if you go to Blackpool, it's it's kind of a must that you you should go up the tower really but I've seen it quite a few times now it's uh, probably not as inspiring as it once was I saw these telescopes so I kind of waited about the telescopes and captured this image which I, I absolutely love this photograph and then just looking at just all that old carpet and everything really inspired me. Then we went back off to the pier. And this was me off back to the train station again. I hope you enjoyed those images. If you want to push your photography further and just find the right path for you with photography, I do a monochrome photography workshop. It's online. It's, you know, four Zoom sessions and 
you know a lot of people are you know doing these zoom sessions with me and they're really coming on leaps and bounds with their photography so if you want to take me up on one of my online workshops then you know just give me a shout i'll put a link in the description for my contact page and you can find out a bit more about that i want to thank all the new members that have joined this youtube channel it's just keeping this channel going and it's keeping me putting out videos so Without you guys, this, this channel just wouldn't be happening. If you want to become a member, you want to support the channel, then you know that would be absolutely fantastic. You just go to the About section and then go to Support the Channel. And there I've got the membership under the Buy Me A Coffee uh, thing. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that sort of thing. And I'll see you next time.